Well, hello here, guys. This is me, Kirsten, again. And for an entire nine days, ten hours, here we are experiencing here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, here we are experiencing the new, um, Sean Lu. Yeah, Sean Lu, um, Supremacy. Yeah, we got that event going, guys. Amazing. Now, anyways, guys, let us get on with the show, guys. And, yep. Um, so yeah, show be the best performance in battle, you will get many more points if you use a particular robot, and I'm taking a guess that's probably, well, no, I think if you have the Sean Lu robot, that might be the specific one, the complete part of the event, but it's just a recent new robot that's not easy to get your hands towards, not so ever. No, unless you had a lot of um, money and currency, I recommend you probably don't waste your money up towards um, this play to win it, pay to win experience because it's been nothing but messed up stuff. It's really skimming you off, guys. It's been doing that for years, guys. They've been um, not they ha they they're not scammers, but like no, but I mean like it's ridiculous how competitive the. The world has um, gotten in this game yeah there's like very much of a boost of a progress of so even well for any of the champion players might be going down a lot of leagues oh well trophies and some are even not even nearly there at the champion league I'm definitely not a champion league yet um, my highest was still around master and yet it becomes more impossible to get it back there all of a sudden guys so just pointing some facts out here guys and yep so according to the specs I do know guys, so here we have for Mindstone rewards, we've got 15 defense boosters, followed by a paint job for the Shadow ro 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 Robot, and then an MK3 token if possible, followed by 500 um, memoriams for um, basically the pilots here or so guys, and then shortly after that, um, yeah we also got ones for 200 pieces of keys, followed by some more um, MK3 tokens, 5,000 um, components basically for the half of, um, I think the Cestrus is what that is, and then four obviously, um, what seems to be um, for the red data silver path, no doubt. Let me see what ones they're clearing here. Nice. Yeah, so clear for the legendary ones we have. Um, the newest weapons the, for the medium, heavy, and light, obviously. So we have the rainbow. We have the lemon, lemon, yeah, and then the chiffon and tamer, obviously. Um, one of the returning ones, trickstar, dumper, deceiver, quicksand lullabies. Um, yeah. The turn on um, for the alpha weapon, the more effective weapons, followed by Volgar. And then for epic rewards, we got half the amount of component systems for these little guys right here, no doubt. And then back here, we just have up throughout the quarter portion of the components, 2000 from 2,500 to 1,000 here, and some even at 500. Honestly, it feels so happy to have more ridiculousness coming through a lot. Now, anyways, speaking of which, since we've gotten through this, let us go see the results. Starting off in the top 10 place. Yeah, I'm top 10. That's not bad. But according to the rhinestones, 15 um, defense booster starts off with 500 leaderboard units. I barely have a hard time getting me there unless... Hold up. Are any of them... Yeah, they're not even for a high amount. So, destroying any enemies using this new Shanlu robot if they get their hands. Because eventually they're going to get their hands on it, but not an enemy usage of it. That's still likely impossible to be able to unlock. But yes, there'll be 54. 54 for destroying the newest robot in the game, which will be nearly impossible to take that robot down if it has a lot of defense, like with the pilots. Um, with the mothership, um, little egg shields and all that stuff. Plus, its ability is not, like, unlike the... So, 
with the revenant that goes teleporting right in front of the enemy boop boop destroying the enemies and then the scorpion teleporting right behind the enemies doing some insane damage even with the pilot it has like the stealth thing yeah which makes it more impossible unless you have the quantum raider but there's no point of wasting i guess three four seconds i guess on that because it could just teleport any time but with the shanru robot it has up to three teleporters and i think as far as i know it can teleport behind three different enemies so if yeah so like but eventually when the cooldown ability runs out after the third or second or or even your first attempt you'll go back to your original spawn point but be be warned guys be careful when you use the new shanlu robot um be aware of the ambush because they can surround you they once you figure out i already know now like i, I already figured this out as soon as the update came through a meek we knew um by just by watching the youtube video about the war robots um trailer about um yeah something to do with yeah so the many of you players can predict where the shanlu is going to go right back to its spawn point so you can just be ready anytime so just gotta you gotta know to be careful i guess so in this case so basically here guys um so yeah it can like teleport one so if the shanlu for example is getting attacked and taking lots of damage you can go to the next target do a bit of damage the main idea is it can kill up to three different enemies if possible. Three different enemies in a row. If you get caught in the chamber liner, it might be four or five enemies, depending. Yeah. So if you're using the Shanlu robot, and if you're in Beacon Rush of Domination, if you capture Beacon, it's worth 45 each. But every other ones are like less than 10. So like 9, 6, 5, 4, and 1. Yeah, no way. So we go all the way down, we have all the three players, and obviously as we see, nobody actually has any, and I mean nobody's got any um, somewhat leaderboard units yet, but that can all change within the next week and two days, so over some time, this will guarantee, I think this will be guaranteed over maybe on the first day of February, or the second day of February being Groundhog Day, on that second day of February, yeah, it's hard not to forget about that. The daily part happens about every single year, no doubt, not almost, every single, like, literally every single year. So yeah, so we have all the way from 10th to 4th place for the blue-silver data path and 500, and for 4th place it's 500, um, components. But yeah, 5th and 10th all have, um, what 4th place has, which is the common one being the blue data path for silver, and for 3rd. It's two red data paths, silvers, and a thousand components. Oh, it's the Seabulls, never mind. Second place, aka silver. Yeah, we had bronze, and now we're focusing towards silver for being three um, red data silver paths, and followed by the quarter of the portion of the components, 2,500 Seabulls to be exact, and at first, we already know the rest, the MK token, and the four um, red data paths. Good stuff. So, to order to get the paint job for the new Shanlu robot, the new paint job, also equipped to it, is up to 14,000. I hope you guys can guarantee to get yourselves up that far. Because it's going to take a lot to get up there within the nine days guaranteed. That's why there's exactly nine days. So, anybody actually has a very decent chance if anything possible, probably three or four days, a person can probably actually end up getting 14 or over with the amount they get. But at least that's what I think in my opinion. Anyways, that completed a very long trial um, leaderboard event um, throughout the temporary of nine days to go through. This um, so wraps it up here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Got more um, summer videos coming up. I didn't sus actually suspect that we were going to actually get um, throughout another video done today. I was actually expecting to try to get one or two free throws done. But that came into a sad time. And you know what? Let's go ahead before we end this video. I'm going to show you what title I can actually unlock. And it says it right there.
the commander. Yep, the basic one that many of us have um, that can unlock, I guess. So there's like ones that I clearly don't have claimed yet. Like we have the enlightened friendly, so I guess this is like playing squad battles or like accepting friend requests. Then we have ex mecha leader, collector, living legend, champion, conqueror, titan slayer, and then co commander. Obviously, as you can see here, what are some of the requirements? According to the description, and um, this says prove your worth as the war robots commander. But yeah, your requirements. Is having to destroy five single robots in a battle, which I've done that. Hired a legendary pirate, no doubt, check. Um, finished 25 battles in a gold league or higher, no doubt I finished that. I've played a ton of free-for-all within the two to three months given since I came back um, doing some free-for-all. Speaking of which, after reaching the 200-600, I might take about a month or whatever or more. I don't know, just more stuff going on, I guess. Yeah, okay, so let's finish this up here. So according to what we have, no doubt we've been able to get over millions of damage. And I mean over millions. So that's been able to boost us up. And our best was close to, I think, 5 million. In total, Um, maybe not counting skirmish battles or whatever, but yeah. Here is to see, um, we have 50 million damage that we need to get to be able to achieve the next one. And then Titanic Challenge, destroy any Titan using your own Titan, which my Titan Nerfer is one of the best for accomplishing. Since I have the Titan maxed out, I have m most of the modules maxed out, and I have the entire we weapon system of my basic weapons actually upgraded to max level. That's the unique part about using... Um, your own um, basic Hainer, um, especially your basic Titan, like the robot that you kind of get as a starter brawler, your starting Titan brawler, I should, yeah, robot, yeah, um, yeah, actually starts off as a Titan kid, but yeah, I ended up unlocking the Titan Arthur because of the physical shields, and to this point today, even the physical shields, as you see in my free-for-all battles, and you'll probably see later on today, it's more free-for-all gameplay, that the physical shields actually surprisingly still do a lot more damage. I mean, they still have a lot more protection. Lots of protection, in fact. They st yeah, over millions. The shotguns, though, um, be basically screwed to find out that um, they can still break the shields very quickly because they're shotguns for a reason. That's kind of the one reason why I wish I kind of had the shotguns that, the Sonic shotguns that they have. Much as I already have the Sonic weapons for the Skyros and for the Fainier also. But I like one for the Titan. And I like to not just get one, but all three of them. I think maybe I have one, or maybe I have none yet. I don't quite know, guys. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and collect this now. Boom! Title collected. I will choose this title. No doubt. I can relinquish the title anytime I'm not gonna but yeah it's officially accomplished right there but yes for now um, I'm sticking with the basic Titan the one I have unlocked a while ago because I don't want to waste any more of my Titan Plagnum unless it's for the um, newer weapons whenever I get them of course so saving up my Titan Plagnum is one of the best things I can do as of right now guys but yeah, having the basic weapons can still do a lot because it's like 500 meters range. And my quantum sensor goes up to 320 meters. Um, so I can ignore um, people in stealth mode um, from that range. No, it's not 320. My mistake. I was thinking it was like level 22 to level 23 quantum sensor. No, that's level 25. So 350. My mistake, guys. So yeah, 500 meters for the weapon and 350 meters for the quantum sensor to kick in and ignore all stealth abilities that they have, including um, the annoying little scorpions or even worse, the lynx robots too. And any other future stealth robots that come out that they won't have that much of a chance. No, guarantee, trust me, they won't. Yeah, um, so my weapons my basic weapons are good for countering 
such good power, obviously, here, guys. So, now we look here, um, we go to here. It, yep. Command the tile. No doubt that's all successful, guys. And look at the little description here, guys. Um, beep, beep, bop, beep. Oh, like a little robot sensation of it. So, we take the moment to actually leave and then come back to the leaderboard just to find out the two people tied for 77 leaderboard units so far. You see, obviously, it's pretty clear we're going to have more people that are going to come along eventually. 74, 66, 62, 50, 61, 57, 47, 30, 22, 7, 6, 3, and then 14th to the rest. Okay, I've knocked down a bunch of leagues. Okay, I'm going to end this stupid video now. Hope you guys, again, enjoyed um i guess um i don't know if this is happy or not but yeah good thing to know today is also Bellet's talk day on the 24th of january like every year i think yeah where it's like um i'm not gonna get into details about that but um feel free um to get any um help if necessary we're all there we'll all try to help Mental health is really, like, mental, yeah, like, mental health, like, mental, or mental health is really important, guys, it is, yeah, Christian signing off, bye-bye, guys, and yep. Yeah.